back to podcast two. This is Handy Andy. This is Tony G. And uh, thanks for dropping in today. Yeah, thank you for dropping in. We are sponsored today by Always Monster. I got the Assault as well as the Footlong Subway. So that I mean that's it. Today we're going to be interviewing Big Joe. Yeah, it's a very exciting podcast today, folks. Uh, we promised you uh, two interviews. However, we're trying to cut down on time. Um, we're not trying to bore you with our uh, our long conversation, so we're going to get right to it. Um, I'm not Irish, guys. But Hopefully he turns into Louie. We don't know yet. If you do have beer, beer me, because I'm, I'm Irish. Beer. I, hey, when I'm I wear wearing, this shirt. I'm wearing green, too, so we're kind of fitting in. St. Patty Day is coming up. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's your plans for the St. Patrick's Day. Well, I'm gonna get fucked up and probably buy a prostitute. Okay. Um, what's happening next weekend? I heard we're going to Rochester, New York. New York, yes. Yep. New Newark, Newark or New York? New York. New York. Oh. So, all right, we're gonna be interviewing a, a fucking Jew <laughs> coming at you next. <laughs> all right so with our second uh podcast we have big joe here aka louie and we're gonna interview him ask him a few questions now joe are you a union man yeah 35 years of that shit what uh local were you in local 55 okay what could you got any story obviously that's iron workers so do you have any stories about it yeah when the, my brother, uh, Jerry Sucker, punched the BA and told us to pack our bags and get the fuck out of town. So the business agent who gives you work, he uh, sucker punched him? Hey, he lit a cigar for him and knocked him. Knocked him out, Cole. Right. <laughs> What's the story with, uh, what do you call it, the back guys? You know, the, the guys that sit at, sit at the union hall and, and uh, they give them the job through the back door? Oh, yeah. What we, do you call that? We out uh, you see uh, one guy going there, and he, I need five guys. And next thing you know, these guys are going out the back door, and they're not coming in day hall. We're hall rats. Oh, uh, yeah, the hall rats. And uh, we're all sitting in there waiting for work, and uh, the guys are sneaking the jobs out the back door. So that's another reason my brother sucker punched that BA. <laughs> Why don't they just give it, give your, uh, your, uh, my uncle, your brother, the job just to get him the hell out of the union hall. Oh, especially Mike, yeah. It's, it, and he, Speak up. He was dangerous. Yeah. He'd uh, go in there and he'd say, uh, where's the work at? And uh, they'd give him a ticket and off, off we go to uh, the bridge deck. So I see you're wearing an Obama hat. Are you, and you're a union man, so obviously you're a Democrat? Yeah, I'm a Democrat. Okay, yeah. what what about this election? Who are you voting for? Uh, I, I'm a Democrat. So, so you vote for Bernie Sanders? Either him or Hillary. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. What whoa. what about Donald Trump? We need to build a wall. Yeah, we need. <laughs> I heard I heard Louis is a Republican. Yeah, he uh, likes Donald Trump. Yeah, he he likes to jump the fence. <laughs> he's a he's a fence jumper. Yep. So if we build a wall. How the hell are, am I going to sneak over to Mexico? I heard uh, I heard Trump's going to build it and make the Mexicans pay for it. Is that true? Yep. How yep. big? Uh, a lot of a lot of rewrite, a lot of all that shit. Is that an iron worker job? Uh, not if you are committing. No, if it's he'll he'll have the Mexicans build it for twenty five <laughs> cents an hour. You see, that's fucked up. That yeah. you know, that's stealing iron work. Yeah. It, so what, so sex life, Let, let's get into sex life. How is your sex life? Sucks. Do you prefer, what type of women do you prefer? Uh, right now, I'm desperate, so a fat one. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, I mean. That answers my question. Do you what, like, do you like fat women? I, I do. do. What do you, you like about them? They keep you warm in the winter, shade in the summer. They know how to cook. Yeah, they do know how to yeah, cook. They, they know how to or cook. they'll fucking buy you food every day. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, what if they ask the fuck, though? And you gotta roll the door and look for the wet spot. Hey, do you prefer fat women? Back when I was your age, no. But now? Yeah. Now, I mean, how fat are we talking? Like, what, what's a good... 300. <laughs> I thought there was a weight limit. Yeah, it's 300. Yeah. You can go to Greg's house, it is. So, anything above 300, what do you... You just let them go, or...? You hope and pray she don't fall on you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, if you're over 300 pounds and you're a female, obviously they're not going to do a good job of wiping their ass. So what if she wants you to tongue punch her fart box? <laughs> you're not going to put a tongue in her ass if she wants it? What if she just got out of the shower? Yeah, then we'll do it. <laughs> Have you ever licked a fat girl's ass? No. But you would? Yeah. Have you, how many fat chicks have you been with? Oh, fuck. I gotta say five. Okay, you know, that ain't bad. Not bad. Do you got any tips on how to pick up these fat girls? Where do you meet them at? Like, I, I, I want a fat chick. You meet her on AOL. AOL? Yeah. Fuck, that's not even around anymore, I don't no. think. I don't know. That's where I met them. The AOL? Instant message? Yep. Or a chat room? Chat room. Not what is it? Fat people need love too. No, it's um, what was it? Uh, women over forty. Women over fat. Women over forty. Women over forty and under three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're talking about one of your previous exes, she We're had... talking about Renee. <laughs> <laughs> what well, if there's anything you could tell Renee? What would you tell her? Yeah, I still love her. Oh, that's she funny. had issues though. You know. Yeah, you know, who doesn't? I'm just going to be honest. Their son in a wheelchair, I hated that fucking kid. Yeah, I know. I know. He pissed on me a couple of times, too. <laughs> Try to give him his medicine. He just threw him down the, the heater duct. He said, I took him. And then all of a sudden, I got a teacher calling me from um, Jerusalem School or the other school. And uh, you better come and get your, uh, whoever it is, your, your son. fat stepson. I said, oh, fuck. let me get Renee. And yeah. She ran over there. And... Picked his fat ass up. Yep. Well, my whole problem was he could walk before he got here. And nobody helped him. But he could walk. Yeah. But obviously he was just too fat and lazy and well, was sitting and riding the doctor do to you. They throw you on steroids and you get fat and just want to eat everything in the house. What about his buddy Cam? That black kid? Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't dribble basketball. Well, he was a black white. He was probably from the suburbs. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they sure can play video games, so. Yeah. Yeah, they Oh, my goodness. Brand new ones every, every time like one come out. Now, when's the last time you've been to a strip club? <clears throat> uh, I think uh, last July. What'd you do? Did you put a thumb in their ass or get a lap dance, anything? Uh, no, no. I thought you got robbed by a stripper. I did. What happened? Well, there were two of them. How much money did they give you for? I think it was like um, 700, 700 bucks. Jesus Christ. You, you know, I would think I would want a blowjob at that price. My girlfriend was the good looking one. And the one that robbed me, when I took my pants off, I was starting to have sex in them. Inside the strip club, or no, this was in, bring in, them back home inside her car. Ooh, and she reached in, grabbed my pants, and started running down the street. Fucking bitch. Well, my wife was pissed. Well, I wasn't married yet, but <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, did you at least get to eat her out or something? Anything I was doing that too, yeah. Well, if she was a stripper, it probably tasted good, right? She was pretty beautiful. So you had the tuna fish smell. Tuna and lemon. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, so what have you been up to in the meantime? When's the last time you got laid? Oh, God. Been a long time. Does your dick still work? I don't know. <laughs> so if you're watching this... I mean, hop on this guy. 
we uh we they worked in the hospital man i got got it up and the nurse come right in and said what are you doing louie's out <laughs> so louie's your dick or is louie your personality that too? is my cock okay well i mean hopefully the nurse touched it at least no she said the heart monitor is going off you sound like you're having a heart attack in here but really you were just having a boner I was stroking it. And jerk it off. <laughs> <laughs> Be the monkey. That, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's whatever. You got to do what you got to do. Don't they give you pills for that, though? Not for beating off, but... For getting yeah. hard? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh... When's the last time you took a Viagra? Viagra, yes. Probably about seven years ago. And what happened? It wouldn't work. So I got a timeout real quick. If, uh, I don't know. I mean, if you have trouble getting hard, you take a Viagra. It didn't work we, that night. It didn't work that night. So what, what we need to do is, anybody watching this, if you're willing to suck or fuck, we need a guy who needs to get laid here. Yeah, I got steel hips. So that would make them feel good. Well, they got lube for that too, right? Yeah. Well, he has a million dollar idea. It's, no, a, it's, it's a book. That's right. Tell us about that book. What's it called? If I can, if I can write a book, I would call it "If My Dog Could Talk." What would it be about? Just you talking to your dog? No, it'd be about my life. I was born on Thanksgiving Day, nineteen fifty-eight, and it start from there all the way to the journey of today. Good. I We need a sponsorship on that. Well, Joe, thank you uh, for doing this interview with us. Thank you. Anything you want to tell them? If girls are listening right now, a fat girl is listening, what could you tell them? I'm a good man. I just need some loving, too. And you will eat their ass. Oh, come on, man. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. I'm being a little perverted. Yeah, but... Uh, one could get a toupee. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not that bald, am I? No, I like the look. The bald yeah. look, definitely. It uh, looks like Kojak. Looks, looks good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, I mean, you're you're wearing an Obama hat. Yeah. Like, come on, fuck him. You like my style tonight. King Obama! Fuck him. Hey, man. They're going to build a library after him. That's unfortunate to hear. Would you name your dog Obama? No. No. Would you fuck a girl named Obama? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for, for dropping yeah. in. What an exciting week we had. Yeah, absolutely. Oh if anybody wants to get on this and interview and has good stories, hop on. Yeah, you can uh, call me, email me, Facebook us. Yeah, Twitter us, whatever. Us. I don't give a fuck. Um, if you have any uh, businesses you want to promote just for shits and giggles, um, feel free to, like I said, hit, hit us up. We'll bring you on. Uh, or we can just talk about it either or preferably females preferably <laughs> yeah preferably just, and then they they could sit on my lap for the interview oh yeah you think i'd creep them out with that probably but you know why not fuck it you know all right well you look good i look good yeah we look good today yes so all right thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next week and remember Thanks if I'm not fucking you, you're not being fucked right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for dropping in, guys. Thank you.